Once the AT10 battery charger is installed, you turn on the DC breaker first. There was a battery connected, the front panel would illuminate, but in this case we don't have one. Turning on the AC breaker, and you'll see all the lights turn on to display a lamp test, and then the front panel meter switches from volts to amps. This top button controls the meter output, and by pressing it, it locks the meter on volts. Next press brings us to just showing amps. The last one shows the hours that need to uh, run for the equalized meter. By depressing it one more time, it toggles back and forth from volts to amps. The second button changes the charger from the float mode to the equalized mode. And the light will light up, and you'll now see the output voltage being displayed, the output current, and the hours remaining to be charging the battery. The third button down shows the choice between the manual timer, a manual equalized setting, or an auto equalized timer. To switch the charger back into float, I just press the float button. To toggle through the settings of the features in the charger, I push the edit button and it flashes the first setting, which is the float. You can then push the up and down buttons to adjust the output to what is required for the battery. The next setting is the equalize setting. Toggle that the same way with the up and down arrows. The next setting is the hours and equalize. The next setting is the high voltage alarm setting. The next setting is the low voltage alarm setting. The next is showing the output current in amps. That's the current limit of the charger. The end displays that we've locked in all of those changes and it's now operating back to normal.